Hey guys, what's up? Bisectatron here from One Hive Gazette, here with a brand new series. And in this one, basically what I'm doing is I'm showing a base, basically why it's designed the way it is, all the layout purposes, everything uh, that goes into building a base. And then I'm going to show how it was three-starred, how the attacker overcame the obstacles the base tried to throw at them. Uh, so I'm starting off this series on my own base because obviously I made it and uh, I know why it's built, how it's built, but hopefully in the future we'll have some Town Hall 10s and Town Hall 8 uh, bases uh, if some people step forward and volunteer their base. Uh, so let me know if you like the series and I'll try to continue it. Uh, but anyway, taking a look at this base, uh, it's the one I created for the Clash or the Holder Clashers War. Uh, by the way, feel free to drop any questions. I'm still working on the Q&A video. That should be coming out soon. But anyway, uh, for this base, uh, it's kind of a interesting type setup. I have kind of a surprise double set near the queen, which you typically don't see that often, uh, but the whole goal is to surprise the first attacker uh, and make it difficult for them to three-star with hogs. I'm going to talk about it from the perspective of a ground attacker because this was three-starred by Govaho, and uh, so I'm just going to focus on hogs because uh, that's what was used to three-star this base. Anyway though, um, so the scout revealed the other set of double giant bombs, but not the one near the queen. So that one's still up. The attacker doesn't know it's there. Um, spring traps pretty spread out. Basically what I'm doing here is I have three main compartments. I have this one, this one, and this one. And the idea is that each one is a threat to hogs. So obviously the bottom two kind of have double giant bombs. This one, a lot of point defense has the cannon, other cannon, the archer tower is a little ways away, but has the expo. Three Teslas kind of in the area. Some more point defense up here, and obviously uh, the one archer tower in here. Plus, all six of those little bombs um, are almost as powerful as one giant bomb. So, uh, if there's not a heal spell there, those hogs are pretty much finished. And even if there is a heal spell, uh, they can go down pretty quickly with all that point defense in the area. Uh, a lot of defenses, or a number of defenses, are set back, uh, including, I'll use another color. Uh, you can see this cannon. Um, the uh, where are, this archer tower, um, the expo kind of, but these are all trying to prevent against the queen walk. Uh, the expo is hard to the, for the queen to get because she has to take out the town hall before she can target the expo, which takes a while. And obviously these two are uh, four tiles away or more from the outside wall, uh, so the queen can't target them, but they can target the queen. That helps defend against queen walks. Anyway, though, let's go ahead and show how this base was three-starred. Um, the attacker uh, went ahead and brought a queen walk, go Vaho. So they started off their queen up top here. Uh, just dropped a few healers on her, let her work her way down this way. Eventually she does take out the enemy uh, queen. And then, I think this might have been intentional, I'm not sure. He doesn't know there's the double set here. But either way, he drops a few archers right here, I believe. And then goes ahead and lets his queen beat through this wall and make her way into this compartment. Uh, now, I'm assuming that was intentional. She ends up taking out the second double giant bomb spot, which might have saved the raid for me had the, all the hogs gone to it. Because uh, from there, the rest of his plan is just to send a golem in here uh, with the six Valks, I believe, and the king. Everything making its way in that way. Uh, wizards to create the funnel, obviously, like on up here and there. And then uh, the jump spell does not let them into... Uh, this compartment right here, they can't access that. So the jump just gets them to that first set of double giant bombs, uh, which they do eliminate. He sends the hogs in through here. They make their way through, but they kind of go around this double set because the queen steps up and takes out uh, these two defenses right here uh, and basically eliminates that double set. So the hogs are basically free to do cleanup, and he still has a, a few Valks, maybe a Valk or two, and... Uh, some wizards around the outside plus the queen at full health in the core or in this compartment right there uh, so maybe a tad bit lucky but still a very good plan getting the three star so let's go ahead and take a look at the attack and then we'll wrap this one up all right uh, I'm just gonna go into the war log real quick and take a look at it all right this one against holder clashers going down to bisectatron so fast cars forever getting the three star uh, does bring seven valks not six Anyway, though, uh, dropping a minion down right there, another minion, uh, just to take out these army camps, easy stuff there. Uh, he's going to drop the queen down in just a moment. 
as soon as this ar these army camps go down. There goes the queen. She's a little bit farther over than I showed, but the same idea. Still getting a few point defense and then taking out the, uh, the defensive queen. So she's going to step up in just a moment, take out that cannon, and continue on her walk. The minion's doing a nice job creating the funnel while all this is happening. Because remember, he's going to send the golem, the king, and the valks into that top compartment. So getting the funnel cleared out ahead of time doesn't have to waste any wizards. Uh, so very slick there. Uh, queen continuing on her walk, and you can see by that dark elixir storage, uh, the queen will step up in range of the defensive queen, and they will uh, take each other on. Obviously with the healers and the poison, plus the ability, uh, fast cars forever's queen is going to get the job done on my queen. So in just a moment, she'll step up. As soon as that high HP dark elixir storage goes down, uh, that one cannon, like I said, is set back, uh, but that's only one point defense, not enough to take out this queen with all uh, four healers, I believe, on her. So pops the ability right here. Uh, my queen does go down, takes out the storage and continues on her walk. While this is happening, uh, it drops the golem up top. And you can see, I believe he... Yeah, this might not have been intentional. The queen does step up and beat through the wall here. Um, it doesn't continue on her walk, but it actually worked out in his favor. Those archers were from the queen's cloak, so didn't actually drop any of his own archers. Uh, so I'm pretty sure that queen was not intentionally going into that compartment. Anyway, up top have the Valks, the King, uh, the Golem, Wizards backing it up, uh, Poison for the CC troops, all that stuff's going down. He already knows what's in the clan castle. Uh, he had the scout for that. Um, the queen beats the wall right here and continues on her walk. Uh, a lot of skellies, a lot of uh, traps pop in there, uh, but the Valks are able to get through them fairly quickly. Uh, the heel has worn off, but the Valks are pretty much at full health, and he has seven of them, so they're going to get the job done in there. The queen's going to continue to take down walls and make her way into that main compartment where my queen was and step up and take out that double giant bomb set soon. Here come the hogs with the surgical deployment on the right side. Pops the king's ability. Uh, that double set is diffused just in time before the hogs reach it. Um, it has two more heals for his hogs, which he hasn't even deployed yet. Um, but I'm, you can see right here, there's the double set, and the hogs are kind of making their way towards it. But in just a moment, the queen's going to step up and take out some of these defenses. Plus, you can see these hogs go down to the air defense. They continue on to the mortar. So they kind of bypass the double giant bomb set to begin with. However, had the queen not stepped up, uh, they would have made their way back in there. Uh, you can see that one uh, giant bomb takes out a big group of his hogs. He was not expecting that. And had that expo stayed up, uh, the hogs would have hit the second bomb and possibly uh, would have taken out enough hogs to make cleanup difficult. You can see he has a few wizards uh, and like one Valk left, but... Um, he was low on time anyway, so I think had the queen not beat through that wall, I might have been able to defend against this one, uh, but obviously worked out in his favor, getting the three star, so um, awesome attack to him, props to that attack, but got a little bit unlucky, uh, that's just how it works in war. Hope you guys enjoyed this series, let me know if you do in a comment uh, in the comment section below, and I'll continue making these videos, hopefully with some other people's bases, Town Hall 8s, Town Hall 10s maybe even Town Hall 11s. Uh, so let me know what you guys think. And also, one more time, uh, go ahead and drop a question if you haven't already, because uh, I'm gathering questions right now for the Q&A, which should come out in the next few days. Hope you guys like the video. See you guys in the next one. Bye, Sectatron out.